Hey guys, it's Richie from Fret Junkies and we are back. Um, this week I'm going to be looking at what I believe to be one of the best overdrives for a Fender style amplifier. I've had a love-hate relationship with overdrives over the over the years, and I, I I've gotten to the point now where I think if you've got a good Fender style amp, and you're kind of probably leaning towards a genre of blues, blues rock, maybe rock, um, you should really be amplifying your bass tone, you know. Um, and a lot of the overdrives out there on the market actually color the tone so much that it takes away from that bass tone that you have and. So it always kind of put me off, you know. Um, I had a love-hate relationship with Tube Screamers. Uh, probably only had a playing one that I really liked, and that was um, Stephen Boyle's SBE81 over on Instagram. Um, other than that, I'm not really enjoyed any of the others. That being said, um, a little while back ago, probably two years ago, I had a double trouble pedal from Honey Bee Amps, and um, a fantastic pedal. Um, for my taste, I only really like the clean drive because the other side kind of colored your tongue, uh, per perhaps like a tube screamer, and it wasn't really for me. That being said, yep, I've, I've got a clean drive from uh, Honey Bee Amps here, and I was really excited to get it back on the board um, because I knew what it would do straight away. This is one of those pedals that pushes your amp as it should, overdrives your amp and pushes your amp into a nice, you know, uh, area of saturation um, and controlling the volume at the pedal. So it, it kind of, it doesn't color your tone so much. You can you can get clean drive out of it, as, as the title says, um, or you can get like some, you know, great gritty, gritty drive out of it. I played it last night and I also put the new buffer at the end of the chain. Um, and one thing I did notice with the buffer is it really kind of tightened up the dynamics um, and I don't run a busy chain, but I had uh, five pedals going and I put the, put the buffer at the end and it kind of just lifted everything up a little bit and, and, and added those dynamics back in that sometimes get lost through a, a busy chain. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm just going to play some of my favorite settings and, um, and show you the kind of tones that I'm getting out of it. I'm going to run straight into it, straight into my amp and that's, that's all you're going to see, okay guys? Um, so yeah, this, this is what I believe to be, in my journey, one of the best overdrives for a Fender amplifier that I've tried, okay? So that being said, let's get into the tones. Thank you. 